Hi, I'm Patrick van der Meer, Visual Coach, and this is a video about uh, renewing uh, your SSL certificate on your Azure website. All right, so I had an SSL for free. Um, I have got a video on that. Actually, I got two videos on that, uh, but it doesn't exist anymore. So that went over to something called Zero SSL, and they offered me three uh, for three websites for three domains a, a free 90 day um, certificate and then you were supposed to renew that uh, after that 90 days well not gonna happen they say well you had three websites so you used three so if you wanted something something more after 90 days now you have to pay actually well that sucks so I was looking for a new free one and I found that the Azure nowadays has a free one as well so this is my first attempt on on doing that so I'm just gonna take one of my websites which are not important uh, website at the moment not uh, very uh, uh, stressful when it goes down um, so let's start with this one it currently uh, is running so I'm gonna put it on pause so I'm gonna stop this one and then I'm going to the TLS SSL settings and if I go there, you can see that it now has these two uh, already connected. So now, this is interesting. I don't know what to do, but I'm just going to delete them. So let's delete this one. And let's delete this one. Not sure if I did it correctly. It's not like that. All right. So those bandings are gone. So what else do I have? Well, I still have this one over here. So why is there a warning over here? Because it expires at the 10th, uh, sorry, the 10th month, so the 6th. It is now the 21th, so I have some time left, but I'm going to delete this one anyway. Delete. These came from zero SSL, by the way. So having that cleaned up, I need something new. Now, there's a list of uh, options over here. And one says create an app service managed certificate. Wow. So import, upload. That's what I did always. So let's try this. What's this? Delete. Fail, delete, privacy. Try again later. Oh, why is that? All right. <laughs> Successfully. Maybe I was a little bit too fast. So that's okay. So now we need a new one for that one. So let's go and create. Up to now, it's not that hard, is it? So the address is already, because I'm in the website, it, the address is already here. So there's no other choices. So that's an easy one. And I was reading documentation. So I said, well, if you do this, then uh, we will create one for the www uh, address and uh, of course the address without the www so now i just click create and i'm just waiting so what is going to happen well as everything is real time uh, this is not being slowed down by my own pc i hope uh, so we just have to wait well i can always cut this right staring at the screen so uh, <laughs> I don't know but <laughs> I just waited <laughs> and now I have a green healthy <laughs> w w w schoonspringer.info uh, now I wonder, like, because the domain name is running at um, uh, GoDaddy, so should I now do something with GoDaddy or not? Well, I think there's only one way to, to find out, right? So we're just going to go to the overview over here, and we're just going to start the website again. And, uh, well, we, we could actually check what happened. So we had this um, well, there's no binding anymore over here, so that's interesting. What 
happens if I if I do that? Because it only created the certificate. So can I now choose a certificate? Yes, it looks like it. So this is the new certificate. And I'm just going to do it. Uh, oh, I guess this is the right answer. Let's edit. All right, fair enough. That looks good. Now, can I also add the binding for the knot? Yeah, see, it's over here. No certificate matches the, the selected custom domain. So, this is interesting. How does this work? Now, uh, only one thing way to find out let's just start the website like i already was planning so oh i already have it running <laughs> Would it, is it started automatically all right let's just click the link and see what happens when we go to the link that looks good is that it is that it Certificate given out by GeoTrust TLSTV. What did it say? Mixed SHA. Okay, well, yeah, I think we're okay. So, what I'll do, I'll, I'll stop this recording, uh, pause it, and then uh, wait a, a little time, and then I log in on the website again. Um, let's let's try the, the, the WW. Okay that yeah so it pops it just to, the, to this okay so this looks actually quite good I think we're good so what I will do um, I'll let it go for now then um, in a jiffy I will go to my other website and do the same thing. See if this still works and then the other one works as well. Yeah, should be easy. So why can not you do this like with a Blanco website? Well, I, we, we can visit that part uh, for now. So let's see what happens if you do a website, this one, that only has its original Azure name. So I didn't add a domain name to this. Well, if I go there, um, then there is simply no way to add because there's no, no domain name. So the original domain name already has an SSL connection. So that's just given by uh, the Azure, uh, my Microsoft, the Azure provider. Yeah, so. This is going to be a challenge because this address is added to the same website as this one. So that might be a challenge to have two names on there. Huh. So I'm extending this video a little bit more. Um, so I had one website that had two domain names, the visualcoach.com and the visualcoach base connected to it and uh, that was all built into the same um, uh, uh, certificate uh, but now um, I actually have two certificates so I, j I just did the same process as before with the uh, schoonspringer.info uh, and I've got two more certificates those certificates uh, of course they um, have uh, are, bind, uh, are bound, have bindings. Actually, only this www.visualcoach.com has that one because if I add another one and I picked the known domain, oh, this one, uh, then that works just fine. Just remember that when you do this, that you don't pick the domain name 
without the W, W. Just, just pick this one. This one. And then it just works fine. So done. Add another binding. And instead of four bindings, I now have two bindings, but it still works perfectly. So let's switch on the website again. Actually, I just did it. It's already stopped and it's already restarted, so I'll restart it for now. That should be done. Successfully restarted. Oh, that's quick, actually. So let's go to the website. Let's refresh the website. And it is completed. And if I go to the BIS site, uh, there it says complaining. Okay, that's interesting. Why is this unavailable? Could be just, uh, it's busy still. I did restart it. Did it start again? Yeah. Oh boy. So now this also changed to biz. That's interesting. So that works. So now I wonder, does the other work? All right. I just have to have patience. And they both work. Done. Nothing to it. Good luck with it.